They were going to be studying mathematics. And images from the second mirror. Visual sound. Ah. Be your teacher for today. Hello students, you are welcome to this class once again. Remember, this is MSI EduTech Online Home Lesson. I'm so delighted, I'm so uh, happy to be in your class once again. Today we want to continue from uh, our mathematics and we are looking at a topic, calculus. Oh, this sounds so strange. Calculus, so interesting. So on, under this calculus, we'll be looking at differentiation and integration. Don't allow fear to come in. This is just simple if you follow this class. Now, let's start with calculus. What is calculus? Let me tell you a little about the story of calculus. Calculus is one of the branches of mathematics uh, found about 17th century by Newton and Niels. This uh, mathematician, they think, and that is why we have calculus today. Okay, now let's start with differentiation. What is differentiation? Differentiation? Differentiation simply means the process of finding gradient function. The process of finding gradient function. So differentiation is the process of finding gradient function. This gradient function is called dy over dx. Some people call it dy dx, right? It can also be called derivative function. We can also call it derivative function. Or we can also call it differential coefficient. Differential coefficient. Okay? Either coefficient of y or x. Now, in differentiation, we have about five principles or five ways of solving differential equation. Number one, we have general equation. Number two, we have quotient. Quotient rule. Number three, we have first principle. Number four, we have what we call chain rule. Chain rule. And number five, we have product rule. So, these are the principles or different ways of finding differential. Okay? So, I'm going to start with general equation and I will take you through these five methods of finding differential equation so let's start with general equation okay okay class we want to look at general equation this general equation is telling us that y equals to um, bx raised to the power n okay applying general equation we have dy dx equals to this n we multiply this b don't cram n times b then this x will still remain and this n minus one so this will give us n b x raised to the power n minus one so this is what we call general 
equation in finding differential right now I want to give you example we had to apply this general equation so that is what we want to look at now let's look at this example find the derivative derivative function of y equals to 6 x raised to power 3 okay now let's look at this question together this is the question given to us and the question is find the derivative function of y equals to 6 s cube so what are we going to do the y the x equals to 6x cubed the y the x will give us 3 times 6 remember our general equation this n multiplied by b so from here b is 6 and n is 3 so what are we going to do 6 times 3 x n minus 1 n is 3 3 minus 1 so the y the x will give us 6 times 3 will give us 18 this will give us 18 x raised to power 2 so this is our answer okay now i want to give you another example Now let's look at this question. Example, find the differential coefficient with respect to x, WRT, with respect to x of the function y equals to 6x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2. So what are we going to do? Solution. Dy dx will give us 6s cubed plus 4s squared plus 2. The y dx will give us, remember the formula. This is um, x, okay? This will give us this times this. 6 times 3, x, 3 minus 1 plus 4 times 2 x 2 minus 1 plus 0 because this is constant okay now we have dy dx equals to 6 times 3 will give us 18 x 3 times 3 minus 1 will give us 2 plus 4 times 2 will give us 8 x 2 minus 1 will give us 1 plus is 0. So dy dx will give us 18x squared plus 8x. So this will be our final answer. I believe you are following this class. Don't worry. If you watch this video all over again, you will understand this topic. Okay. Now let me go to the second uh, method of finding differentiation and that will lead me to product rule so let's see what will happen in product rule now this is product rule product rule dy over the x equals to u dv over the x plus v du over the x okay now this is u and this is v let me give you an example where to apply this okay class want to find solution to this question differentiate 3x minus 2 
bracket, open the bracket, close the bracket, x squared plus 3. Now, this might look so strange. What are we going to do? We are going to apply product rule. Remember, you cannot apply general rule to this type of question. So we need to apply product rule. Now, this is u and this is v. I'm just showing you that. Now, bring, let u be 3x minus 2, okay? The u over the x, remember the u over the x, we give us 3x minus 2. The u over the x is going to give us applying general rule or equation. We have x b n minus 1, which is y. Now, you know this is going to give us n x b n minus 1. So, okay, sorry, we have n here. Okay, so this will give us 3x 1 minus 1 minus is 0 because this is constant. Okay, this is constant, it will be 0. The u over the x is going to give us 3x 1 minus 1 will give us is 0. Okay, remember x raised to power 0 will give us 0. Just like as I explained uh, in uh, mode 1 of junior secondary school, you can purchase that to know more about uh, laws of indices. So this du over the x will give us 3 times 1. du over the x will give us 3. So this will be du over the x. We are true with u. We are going to v. Now, remember, let v be s square plus 3. Okay? Now, the v over the x. We are true with the u over the x. Now, I want to look at the v over the x. s square plus 3. Okay? The v over the x will give us, these two will come down. You have 2, x, you minus these two by 1, 2 minus 1. Remember, this is constant, is 0. So the v over the x will give us 2x, 2 minus 1 will give us 1. So the v over the x will give us 2 x because x raised to power 1 will still give us 2x. Now we got our uh, dv over x, we have the u over the x. We have to go back to the product rule and see how we can apply the rule. Can we try that here? So this one will give us dy over the x equals to u dv over the x plus v du over the x. Okay? Now, dy over the x, which is differential um, coefficient, will give us u. What is our u? Remember, u is 3x minus 2 bracket. What is the v over the x? The v over the x is 2. So you put 2x here plus what is v? v is x square plus 3. And what is the u over the x? The u over the s is 3. So you put 3 here. Okay? So the y over the x will give us 2x times 3x. We are going to have 
6x squared xx it will give us x squared now this is minus minus 2 times 2 will give us 4 bring the x down it will give us 4x okay plus 3 times x squared will give us 3x squared 3 times 3 will give us 9 so dy over the x will give us 6x squared plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 9 dy over the x will give us 3, 6 plus 3 will give us 9 x now you need to remember we have x square x square uh, here it will give us 4 minus 4 x plus 9 this will be our answer I believe you understand this this is just the second rule which is product rule now we want to go to first principle that is another uh, method of finding differentiation and can i tell you something this rule or this method of finding differentiations are very important the method you applied in general equation you cannot apply it in product rule so that is the essence of all this method of solving differentiation so you need to learn all this method so let's go to first principle okay okay class this is first principle and the formula to find first principle is y plus dy equals to n open the bracket x plus dy raised to power n so let's look at this example okay we have differentiate y equals to 3x squared minus x plus 5 what are we going to do? y plus dy, okay, equals to your n here is 3. 3 brackets, x squared, okay, x plus dx, put your square here, minus x is x plus dx, okay, plus 5. Now, y plus dy equals to 3 x squared will give us x plus dx, x plus dx, okay, minus bracket x plus dx plus 5. Are you following? Y plus dy equals to 3 bracket we need to open this bracket x times x we have x squared x plus dx times x we have x dx plus x times dx we have x dx okay this is the x times the x we have plus the x squared now we want to open this bracket this will give us minus x minus times plus you need to be very careful here minus times plus will give us minus the x plus 5 okay remember this one stop here close the bracket y plus dy will give us 3 times x squared will give us 3x squared plus 3x dx plus 3x dx plus 3 dx squared minus x minus the x plus 5 okay now from the equation given to us y equals to 3x squared minus x plus 5 so where you see y here you replace it with 
this. So y will give us 3 x squared minus x plus 5 plus dy equals to 3 x squared plus 3 plus 3 will give us 9 x dx plus 3 dx squared minus x minus dx plus 5 okay now we want to cut now in order to make our work easier and when we cut something will happen here this x we cancel this okay we have plus minus x here we have another minus here it will cancel this okay we have plus 5 here we have another plus 5 here it will cancel so we are left with dy equals to 9x dx plus 3 dx square okay minus what the x now what are we going to do divide both sides by the x this will give us the y over the x equals to 9x dx divided by the x plus 3 dx square all over the x okay this will give us minus dx all over the s okay now something will happen here dy over the x will give us this we cancel this we are left with 9x okay plus the s1 we have the s square here this will give us 3 dx okay this one this one minus one I hope you are following me okay dy over the x will give us 9x now that's what we call limb you are going to limb the x to be equals to a zero so this will give us 3 0 minus 1 so dy over the x will be equals to 9x plus 0 minus 1 dy over the x will give us 9x minus 1 okay so fantastic i know that this this might be a little bit difficult but I want to assure you that if you watch all over this video, you will discover that it's very easy to understand. So let's go to chain rule. And that will lead us to the last part of this differentiation. In the next class, I'm going to explain uh, more about quotient rule for you. And if you find anything difficult, you can always send your comment to a uh, whatsapp number rolling on the screen and we are going to answer your question so let's go to a uh, question i mean a, a chain rule then i will explain quotient truth to you later okay now we want to look at our chain rule chain rule the y over the x equals to the y over the u times the u over the x okay now let me give you an example 
we have to apply this uh, uh, formula. Example, you have something like differentiate um, y equals to s squared minus 1, 5. Okay? Now, to solve this solution, this is u and this is y. I will explain more about this. So let u be s squared minus 1. So du over the x we give you remember the general formula these two will come here you have 2x then you minus 2 by 1 minus is 0 remember 1 is constant so du over the x we give you 2x 1 minus 1 we give you what it will give you 1 minus 0 the u over the x will give you 2x okay now we want to find this which is y let y be u raised to power 5 okay so what are we going to do now dy over the u will give us u raised to power 5 dy over the u will give us 5 we come here we have 5 u 5 minus 1 so dy over the u will give us 5 u raised to power 4 okay now we want to find the y over the x from our formula the y over the x we therefore give us what is the y over the u 5 u raised to power 4 times 2x okay the y over the u i mean the x we give us 5 what is u are u is x square minus 1 raised to power 4 times 2x so this will be our answer i believe you understand i've explained general equation applicable to differentiation i've explained product rule first principle and chain rule i'm going to explain more to you about quotient rule so let's go to the last part of this uh, uh, lesson which is integration this is very simple and you will understand it trust me okay okay class we are going to look at integration what is integration integration is opposite of differentiation okay sometimes we call it anti differentiation okay now this is giving us this the x this is the symbol for integration okay we have formula we use in integration so i'm going to show you the formula now if you have y to be ax raised to power n integrating it you are going to have ax n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 you remember in differentiation is n minus 1 
but in integration is n plus one. So let me give you one example on how to solve question on integration. Let's see this example. I want to give you this example. Integrate x raised to the power four. This will give us plus c. This c is called constant. So please take note. Now, solution, this one will give us s raised to the power 4 equals to x 4 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1. This one will give us x raised to the power 5 all over 5. So this will be our answer. Okay, plus c, sorry plus c okay class let's find solution to this problem find the integral of 4x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 2 so what are we going to do solution okay we have 4x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 2 Put it in bracket put the x here so this one will give us 4s cube plus 1 okay 3 plus 1 plus 2s square plus 1 2 plus 1 minus x 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 plus 2x then plus constant which is c so this will give us 4s, 3 plus 1 will give us 4. 3 plus 4, I mean 3 plus 1 will give us 4. Okay, plus 2x, 3, 3, minus s square, 2, plus 2x, plus c. Okay, this will give us, 4 will cancel 4, we have s raised to power 4, plus 2s raised to power 3 all over 3 minus s square all over 2 plus 2x plus c so this will be our final answer i believe you understand what we have been doing so far from differentiation down to integration in case you find any of these examples difficult to understand you can always send your feedback to us and we'll get back to you before we leave this class, I'll give you something to do for me until we meet next class. Okay. Okay, class. This is homework. Find the integral of 6x raised to power 4 plus 3x raised to power 3 plus 2x squared plus 5. Number 2, differentiate this. Find differential coefficient with respect to x of the function y equals to 4s raised to power 3 plus 3, I mean 2s squared plus 4. Then the last one, use first principle, differentiate 4s uh, squared minus y, I mean minus x plus 4. So this will give you, sorry, this is y equals to. differentiate okay so y equals to 4x squared minus x plus y thank you very much until i see you next class bye